Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to crack open one of these Battle for Zendikar gift boxes. So, I saw this on the shelf at the local Maya for a great price and I thought I'd pick it up, check it out. And always good to try your luck with Battle for Zendikar or you'll get a total hosing. So, let's see how we do with Gideon's Blessings today. We'll get stuck into it and... Actually, what do you get here? We get a nice holder there for all your cards, um, some little labels, some dividers, and of course five booster packs, and 20 card Battle for Zendikar basic land pack. Oh, and also an alternate art Scythe Leopard from the Battle for Zendikar set. I'm sure that's totally worthless. Alright, so let's get stuck into it here. Let's see what we get. And I've opened some of these other gift boxes in the past. I wish they would go back to this route. They've uh, got these flimsy things you pretty much throw away these days. So the 2017, 2018 gift boxes were nothing to write home about. Alright, so we'll take the sleeve off. It's on there pretty good. It's practically bursting out of here. Can get that off. There we go. All right. So, what do we get inside? Everything's nicely tucked. Okay, a single package here, and that's how you store your cards. So you've got three rows there. Excellent card storage. So we'll get this stuff out of the way. Which way does that go? Probably... No, I had it right in the first place. Like so... Ooh! Okay, that's probably why it's cheaper, because the box is a little ruined. Okay, so I did not get such a great deal, but maybe I did. Let's dig in here. Get stuck into the packs. We'll do some pack blessings. I can get this apart without damaging anything. Everybody's probably cringing right now. Be careful with the knife! Okay, I'll try. They don't make it easy though. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five packs. We'll do the pack blessings before I forget about it. Gideon aside, okay, so we've got labels. Different colours, rarities, creatures, different types of formats, and so on and so forth. Little icons here, and some blank labels. And of course we have the ever popular quick reference card here. So if you're new to magic, this will give you all the basics you need. So check it out, all the parts of a turn and so forth. Alright, and get our Scythe Leopard. Let's take a look at that guy. We'll check out the dividers momentarily. Okay, so Scythe Leopard, creature cat 1-1 one, one for a single green, has landfall whenever a land enters battlefield under your control. He gets plus one plus one until end of turn. And a foil, I'm going to say it's probably worth about 30 cents these days. And we get some planes, islands, swamps, mountains, and forests. And alas, no full arts. I was sort of hoping for full arts, but it was not to be. So we'll put these aside. Let's take a look at the dividers. These look pretty cool. Different uh, Battle for Zendikar scenes. Okay, that is pretty nice. Get that in focus. Okay, so we've got that one. Some waterfalls. These are actually pretty thick. Thicker than I thought they'd be. Some more great artwork, like a lava scene. Look at that, fantastic. Alright, so just what you need to keep all your cards separated into sets and so forth. Let's get cracking. First pack of BFZ 
And I'm really hoping to pull an expedition. I've never pulled an expedition from Battle for Zendikar. I've always gotten hosed. So maybe today is the day we have Nurkana Assassin, Oren Reef Invoker, Dispel, Mind Raker, who's a fan of the Eldrazi, leave a note in the comments, Felidar Cub, Goblin Warpaint, yes, Enchantment Aura for two, Ondu Champion, McKindy's Slide Runner, Gideon's Reproach, Lifespring Druid, and Uncommons, we have a Hagra Sharpshooter, Breaker of Armies, there's another Eldrazi. Encircling Fisher and the rare is Lumbering Falls. Enters Vertiful tapped. You can tap it for green or blue. Pay two green blue. It becomes a 3 3 green and blue elemental creature with hexproof until end of turn. It's still a land. Alright. A nice full art mountain and an ad for origins. And alas, no. Expedition. Okay, pack number two with a Gideon on the front. Maybe that's a good sign, maybe it isn't. Okay, we have Territorial Bailoff, Ro Royal Mage's Trick, Dutiful Return, Cliffside Lookout, Outnumber, Geyserfield Stalker, Snapping Nalid, Evolving Wilds, Eldrazi Sky Spawner. <laughs> Get a look at that thing, weird. Hedron Blade, Uncommon's Core, Entanglers, Tajuru Warcaller, Hedron Archive, and the rare is Brutal Expulsion. Instant for four has Devoid, so this card has no color. Choose one or both. Return target spell or creature to its owner's hand. It deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker, and if that permanent would be put into a graveyard this turn, exile it instead. With a full art planes with a weird printing issue there. And an Eldrazi Scion token. Okay. Moving right along. So we've got three packs left. Still looking for the expedition. We have Plummet. Coral Helm Guide. Myers Malice. Shutter Skull Recruit. Giant Warrior. Okay. Core Castigator. Evolving Wilds, Silent Skimmer, Rush of Ice, Natural Connection, Unnatural Aggression, Uncommons, Herald of Kuzalek, Retreat to Ameria, Halamar Tidecaller, and a Mythic! Yes, it's Kiora, Master of the Depths! Planeswalker Kiora, for loyalty for 4 mana, her plus 1 up to 1 target creature, or untap up to one target creature and up to one target land. And minus two, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. And her minus eight, you get an emblem with whenever a creature enters battlefield under your control. You may have it fight target creature. Then put three A8 blue octopus creature tokens onto the battlefield. Very nice pull there. I don't think it's worth terribly much these days, but still pretty decent. And a full art swamp. And an elemental token. All right. Two packs left. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, let's see what we get here. So one mythic so far, not too bad. I guess we could do much worse than that. Start off with a Mind Raker. Territorial Bailoff, Clutch of Currents, Reckless Cohort, Evolving Wilds, Eldrazi's Sky Spawner, Hedron Blade, Bone Splinters, Unnatural Aggression, Uncommons, we have Chasm Guide, Creature Goblin Scout Ally, 3 2 for 4, with Rally, whenever it or another ally enters battlefield under your control, creatures you control gain, haste until end of turn. I have to put that aside for the Goblin Collection, Blood Bond Vampire. Adverse conditions and rare is Veteran War Leader, creature, human, soldier, ally, star, star for three. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. And tap another untapped ally you control. It gains your choice of first strike, vigilance, or trample until end of turn. And a foil, United Front. Nice foiling on that one. 
and an island and a core ally. No expeditions, alas. Okay, final pack here. Even another mythic would be nice to make it worth my while, but I did get a decent box that I need to tape up because I didn't see the damage on there. Okay, final pack. We have Brilliant Spectrum, Alter's Reap, Call the Scions, Angelic Gift, Lava Step Raider, Creature Goblin Warrior, Looming Spires, Fertile Thicket, Snapping Nalad, Spell Shrivel, Complete Disregard, An Uncommon Serene Steward, Jetty Offshoot, Carrier Thrall, and the rare is Dust Stalker. Total Bulk, Creature Eldrazi 5-3 for 4 has Devoid and Haste at the beginning of each hand step. If you control no other colors, creatures return Dust Stalker to its owner's hand. Alright, today, Fuller Island with some weird printing issue. Double printing and a plant token. Okay, so that is it for BFZ, the gift box. And I actually think this is worth picking up for a decent price. You get a nice box, except if it's damaged. So this is going for about 40 bucks now, so maybe it's not quite worth it. But I actually picked it up for, I think it was like 25, so not too bad. So leave a note in the comments what you think of this product, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.